Okay, next video is um, there was a question about mounting in flight aircraft or at least aircraft that you don't want to just put down on the table even if you have left undercarriage down. Like I was thinking with one of my Phantoms I'd actually like to do flaps down and sort of an approach to land setting. But anyway, um, so my very first choice that I've been using for a few years even though I don't actually end up doing many in um, I do a number in flight but I hang them up rather than put them on a stand because that takes shelf space and as I've said shelf space is absolutely premium at this stage is that now so I would say that if you have a bicycle shop near you or you even have bicycles now I cycle a lot and I've gone through many bicycle wheels and so at, at some stage I decided to take off the spokes because um, I thought they might be useful. And they actually are very useful for this purpose. They're thin and strong. They can be bent and adjusted. Um, you've got screw thread on the one side if you really wanted to use screw thread, which I have on occasion where I've um, drilled a hole in the aircraft and then you know just screwed it and gives that little bit of extra hold. You can pop along to a bicycle shop and, and if the guy's nice enough, um, he'll he'll maybe give you an old wheel. Because, I mean, this is just a standard spoke from any old wheel. Even, even some of the kids' bikes might have slightly shorter ones, but this is just from a standard wheel. I've got a whole bunch of these, and this would be my first suggestion for a stand. Because you can, you can either... Take that off, trim this up to the right height that you want, embed it in a piece of wood. Um, fairly easy to just drill a hole and seat that in there, glue that in there. And then uh, put your air aircraft in. You can even bend this, it can go into the tailpipe and you can bend it down. Uh, people do it also with clear acrylic rod, but I mean this is very strong. This, this is not going to break and drop your model. Uh, uh, th this is the last thing that will ever break. Um, it's cheap, it's for free. If you can just get someone to give you old wheels. Or even take the spokes off for you. Um, it's also quite quite nice, you know, for instance, if you want to do one or two aircraft together, they're long enough for you to be able to do a, a formation flight. So that's my first choice. The one that I've done, um, which is a lot thicker for this 124th Mustang, was a large steel rod. Now obviously that's a lot more work. When you're doing this one you possibly do need to do a little bit of strength strengthening inside the fuselage for where you're going to attach this but not significantly but on this Mustang there was a huge uh, block put into the fuselage over there. So the point that I want to discuss on this one was the arrangement. So this is off center. Uh, so it's tilted forwards. It is a little bit off center if you look at it that way. And the main thing for this is, and it's also off center going into the aircraft. So you could then position this aircraft to be flying in a huge number of attitudes. Um, depending on how you wanted to display this. Now, what I didn't do perfectly was arrange it onto the center of gravity. Uh, so this has gone in roughly over there. And it, um, my thought was to put a little bit of contact adhesive, let it dry, which I had done, that was what gave it that little bit of friction. So you don't put any glue into the aircraft. You put a little bit of glue onto the end of the shaft because it's a bit of a shiny shaft. Let that dry. Put this into position and it more or less holds it um, at the position required. But it doesn't anymore because that glue has sort of been rubbed off. It can hold in certain positions. But it's sort of irrelevant at this point because it doesn't stand on this base. It hangs on my ceiling. So this um, you know, that's, there's remnants of the glue there. That's how much it goes in. It's uh, a very strong 
a very strong um, mounting block. I think I used wood and plastic and built up a whole thing inside there because the last thing you want is a slight jolt um, breaking out your fuselage. So that mounting doesn't place any stress on the actual fuselage skin since there's so much inside. So yeah, fair bit of um, work to get that right. This was from about 1998 or something if I remember correctly. Um, I, I entered this into a competition and this was when this particular aircraft was restored in South Africa and flew for a while there. I did undercarriage up, cleaned it up quite nicely. I did quite a quite a weathered and dirty scheme. I, I still need to put that on with um, clear, what's it called, clear fix. Um, so that slides open, although it does just catch on the pilot's head on occasion. Um, with the little airfix pilot inside there. It did have the radio aerial with a spring. The spring is in, still inside there, but the actual little cord did pull off. So the attachment point there on the tail is um, no longer present. I could fix that, but it's, it's hardly relevant. So this stands on the ceiling. It does have nav lights which work with a battery when it decides to work and the battery slides in behind the um, spinner here that was just with a an AA battery at that stage I didn't use watch batteries but um, so as far as mounting um, in summary then the mounting should be at an angle if you want it to sort of swivel so that you can get a different arrangement you know if you put it very straight into your fuselage moving it around doesn't give you very interesting arrangements if it's fixed then it doesn't matter fix it in exactly the way that you want and use um, steel wire or bicycle spokes whichever whichever you find easier to go for but um, i've got a ton of these bicycle spokes Okay, that's it for mounting for an in-flight, especially where you possibly want to do a little bit of um, change of angle.